Our next question is an exciting one. It's also, was this one from Guazington as well? Yeah, both of these come from you. Okay, this is a 3D question where we have to find different sides in terms of one another. They say here, in the diagram, RS, now RS is this thing over here, is a vertical tower, hence that 90 degrees. Okay, uh, R, S is the height of a vertical tower. T and Q are two points in the same horizontal plane as the foot of the tower. So this is lying on the ground. T and Q are both lying in the same horizontal plane as the, I'm going to just write the T bigger there, there's the S, as what um, the foot of the tower S is. Okay, then they say to us, from the point T, the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 60 degrees. So that little part there is 60 degrees. Okay? And it belongs to this triangle, triangle RTS, because that's the triangle that's standing up. We've got this happening, folks. I'm going to show you with my paper. Here's the horizontal plane, and on the vertical plane over here, there's the horizontal plane. I'm going to tilt it. And on that horizontal plane, we have our vertical plane. And that's where the tower is. Okay, then they say to us that the angle RTQ. Now, I'm going to do that angle in another color. This angle here. RTQ is the angle theta. Now, folks, that angle lies oblique. It lies in the triangle that you get that forms from the top of the tower to the horizontal plane. It's an oblique angled triangle, uh, 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 a triangle that lies at an oblique angle. Okay, then they say to us TQ is K. Okay, so they're telling us this distance is K and that this angle over here is also, and this angle lies in the oblique triangle, which is 60 degrees. Okay, that's quick setting of the scene. They ask us to express TR in terms of um, theta and K. So we want TR in terms of theta and K. Now let's locate it. TR lies up there. Theta is in the oblique, tri oblique angle triangle here, and K is also there. So I'm going to start in triangle TRQ. And you know what? I want this, do I have the angle opposite to it? Yes, I do. I want, I have this side, do I have the angle opposite to it? Yes, so I'm going to use my sign law because the information is crossing. Okay, so TR over, that's TR over the sine of 60 down here, is equal to K over the sine of 180 degrees minus theta minus 60. It's this triangle that lies over there. So I'm going to speed myself up a bit. TR will then be K times the sine of 60. Now the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. The denominator becomes 180 minus this angle over here. Now folks, if I subtract that, I get the sine of 120 minus theta. So look at that ugly thing. I now have to use compound angles in that denominator. So I'm going to bring the 2 down and I'm going to continue from here. I'm going to say 3 times the root of k stays at the top over twice. Now this is the sine of 120, the cos of theta, your compound angle minus the cos of 120 multiplied by the sine of theta. Now let's work on that. That gives me root 3k, <laughs> the other way around, 3, it is root 3k. Look at what I wrote here. I'm trying to do this far too fast. So this is root 3 times k, as it was there, root 3 times k over twice. Now this is a second quadrant angle, it's 180 minus 60, 
and 180 minus 60 becomes the sine of 60, and the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. Okay, cos theta minus. Now the cos of 120, 120 is a second quadrant angle. It is 60 degrees away from 180. So this minus becomes a plus, and this reduces to the cos of 60. And the cos of 60, we all know, is a half. So that is a half. We don't need a calculator for that. We're clever enough to know that. Okay, and what's left for us is to just do that. And I have answered the first question. Root 3k over root 3 cos theta plus the sine of theta. And that was a little bit of work that we had to do there. The second part now asks us to show that Rs, we need to find something about Rs. This is part 2. Rs is equal to 3k divided by twice the root of 3, the root of 3 multiplied by the cosine of theta plus the sine of theta. And folks, they are both, that's in a bracket. Okay, so let's see, let's go back to our diagram quickly. Rs, and we need it in terms of k. Well, there's another 60. Rs is the height of the tower. I'm looking for that. I have this angle as 60. I have that hypotenuse. I just found it. So it's the sine of 60, which is this Rs over Tr. So let's quickly go for that. The sine of 60 in that triangle, the sine of 60 is equal to Rs over Tr. So what is Rs? Rs will be the sine of 60, which is root 3 over 2 times TR. Now, TR is the side that we found over here. TR we found to be equal to this component there. So, root 3K over um, the bracket root 3 cos theta plus sine theta. Now you can see here root 3 times root 3 is 3k over twice that bracket. Root 3 cos theta plus the sine of theta. Now that question was for 10 marks, folks, and that, that type of question will always appear in an exam paper. So make sure, folks, your trigonometry, let me tell you a secret. You can take all your trigonometric theory and you can write it on one A4 sheet of paper. Learn it off by heart. Don't rely on formula sheets and start practicing your, your trigonometry. Everybody can do trigonometry as long as you know your rules and you've practiced it because with the practice, you see where I apply different uh, rules to different types of things that pop up.